Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I'm back at the fly tying station. And I gotta tell you, I, you know, I wanted to tie a bunch of uh, uh, jigs, you know, hair jigs, bucktail jigs, uh, a couple other different patterns I wanted to try, some crappie jigs. Been having trouble getting the materials I wanna get. Um, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got. Um, today, I'm just gonna tie a simple crappie jig. And, you know, I'm not a how-to channel. I'm telling you that right now. This is just me tying a uh, crappie jig. And that I hope I'll catch some crappie on this spring. Stick around. All right. So what I'm starting out with is this, uh, I think this is a 1 8 ounce tungsten jig. Couldn't find any new ones in the colors I wanted. So I picked some old ones out of my uh, tackle box. So they don't look brand new. I'm going to put a little of this Sally Hansen's Tough as Nails on here. Just to give me a base for my line to stick to. Notice a lot of guys use that. I've been using the UV glue, but we're going to give this a try. So I'm loading up my dobbin with some uh, white thread. Let me show you a little trick I learned to get it through this... Uh, this tube because it's very fine it just wants to kind of bend so I get it started and then I give it a little suck on the end like a straw and it comes right out I'm just gonna start this right there I'm just gonna start winding Whoop. Tighten my vice up. Whoa, well. Okay. Tighten my vice up a little bit. And then let's just start winding this right about to the point of the hook. Oops. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot, catching the point. And I'm going to run up shank a little bit. Unfortunately, the only light crappie jigs I have all have this collar, which I'm not, uh, not too thrilled about. So what I'm using today is this white synthetic hair. I'm going to pull off oh, about that much. Cut. Cut a chunk of that off. And we'll kind of wrap that around a little bit and put a few wraps around it to uh, just to secure it. And we'll tie a whole bunch of it up here. My vice is not uh, locking down very well. On here is some of this uh, flash. <clears throat> so I've cut it off and I've doubled it up. And just going to put a few rather tight wraps. And I'm going to pull this out and arrange that a little bit. And then try to get this thing to clamp down a little better. There we go. 
I'll trim that down a little bit once uh, I'm ready. And let's see, the next thing I'm going to use is this uh, tinsel chenille. This is large and it's called Rainbow. Now, you see here I've got this keeper, so it's kind of thick here. So I'm going to start down here near the base of my hook and I'm going to wrap that double thick there so that when I get up there it'll be the same thickness. I think this will be a crappie jig. Who knows what it'll catch. Alright. I'm just going to put that like that. And make a few tight wraps to hold it in place. And then I'm going to start winding this around the shank. And I'm going to go a little thick at the hook side because I've got to deal with this keeper. Using a little more of this than I'd probably care to. But and then I'm gonna wrap that kind of tight here. Get my scissors. Clip that off. And then I'll pull my whip finisher out. And we'll whip finish that. So the whip finish has been giving me a little bit of trouble, but I think I have it figured out now. So we go like that. One, two, three, and then off this end, pull it tight. There. I'm going to do a four or five on this next one. Okay. So we have a upside down four. We go up. We go one two, three, four. Alright, well, that's not perfect, but it did tie it off. And just to finish this off, let's put a little bit of this uh, UV head glue up there. Just to make sure that knot stays good and tight. So there you have it. Fly number two, jig number two. Just a, a simple crappie jig, nothing pretty. But yeah, it's got a little flash in it. Those little white synthetic hair on this one, not bucktail. And uh, some fancy rainbow chenille. We'll catch a crappie with this next, next spring. Thanks for coming along. See you next time. Peace.